What is a woolly mouse? How did you accomplish that? As you do these uh, genome engineering tests, you want to kind of do these validation steps. And so a way to do that and the way people do it in pharma a lot is they'll use uh, mouse models. You know, we don't do anything in humans or non-human primates. And so we thought a mouse model was interesting. But we did think that it was unethical because there's about 200 million years of genetic divergence between mice and elephants. So we ran uh, all of our edits that we've been already had made in our Asian elephant cells from our mammoth uh, targets. We then ran that through our computational analysis and we identified the, the genes that uh, would create the same effect in the mouse. We edited it and, um, te and tested a new delivery mechanism for both editing and for uh, injecting into embryos. As I mentioned, all the mice were healthy, which was great. It, it, it showed that the end-to-end -end system worked. So that was like check, check, check. But then, you know, as they grew their hair, the hair phenotype came out exactly as predicted. It was a mass validation that the edits that we've already made in our Asian elephant cells from our mammoth targets around hair will produce that physical attribute or phenotype, right?